Hello everyone, it's Rad from Rad Kutsarot and within this uh, old video um, you're gonna hear the forecast for your star sign for the upcoming week which is a August 24th to a August 30th, a 2020. For those who are new to Tarot, uh, Tarot is all about knowledge. It's about the knowledge of the universe and how you interpret that knowledge. So if you do like the way I read the Tarot cards and you want to learn to read the same way, I am offering you a Tarot classes and uh, how to participate into them, you can find a link down below in the description of this video just so you know by purchasing a tarot class it also includes a, a certain amount of personal coaching with me as well when you do finish uh, the, the, the recorded class okay, and you do have the hang of it already you can address me with whatever questions you think I have not covered up there or simply you can use that time to uh, practice your reading skills, uh, reading skills with me uh, the other thing is, is that if you do want a personal reading, you can go to my website, which link you are going to find in the description down below as well. And there at the very front page, you're going to see full list of my services as well, their pricing. And as soon as you place a, a purchase, <clears throat> I'm going to come back to you within 24 hours via email to give you details how the reading is going to take place. So if you haven't received the email in your inbox, make sure you do check your spam or junk folder as well. So with that being said, just lay back and uh, enjoy the show. All right, so uh, this is going to be Aries Sun, Aries Moon, and as well a uh, Aries Rising. A weekly general tarot reading for the upcoming week, and uh, just bear with me a couple of seconds, guys, and uh, we're gonna move right into it. Right, so the first one that we do have for you, Aries, that is going to be the Five of Pentacles. Uh, moving next, we do have the Six of Wands. Uh, followed by uh, the Nine of Wands. Uh, a bit of a salvage here is what we do have. And the last one, that will be the Page of Swords. Uh, so... Well, I, I'm just going to say it, there is no other way around it. Uh, according to those cards, um, something is going to backfire or, or it's kind of like it's going to be brought on your, uh, on your head, figuratively speaking. Um, and uh, instead of uh, accomplishing a milestone, instead of accomplishing um, kind of like a recognition, if you will, uh, or achievement, uh, it will be a, a consecutive event of troubles, one coming after another. It is kind of like that the, the hits are not going to uh, stop coming. Now on the bright side, if there is a bright side in this uh, particular situation, uh, you will have enough time to uh, realign, reposition yourself, take a precautionary measures in order to endure through the, uh, through the endeavor. But the whole thing here with having the Five of Pentacles on the very first position, especially with the Six of Wands on the second one, it points that the whole ordeal that you will have to suffer through the week are going to weaken your positions uh, to a point that you are going to kind of start fearing for your job, maybe for your relationship, uh, for yourself as well. So it's uh, it will be, uh, to say the least, kind of like a, a, a bit uncom un uncomfortable, I'm sorry, a uh, week. Again, on the bright side, um, the issues that are to appear on the horizon are going to seem a bit overwhelming, okay? Uh, for a couple of reasons, uh, first of all, they will come uh, in time that you're least anticipating them. And the second reason it is that they're going to come on time. Uh, uh, not uh, The second reason is that they're going to come in numbers. Okay, so they're going to, you, you will have to face many issues, many issues on many fronts. And that is exactly what is going to uh, make you question the solidity of your positions, like your career or like your relationship. And here it is important to know that you don't have to face those issues alone. That's one. 
there are people who are into similar shoes as yours and you can definitely cooperate in order to make each other's life much easier now i will try to explain it here as you can see here we do have a two people running through and from a, a cold times cold winter and yes they are two people so you don't have to face it alone that's one and the second one it is that uh, you are way over uh, underestim not under overestimating the issues themselves now while there are many on multiple fronts they are not as big as you think they are and the majority of those issues are really just a trifles so the true way how you can uh, kind of like endure and not just only endure but ends in an upper hand from the whole ordeal from the week it is that one like said find yourself an ally and a helping hand and second maintain mental awareness and do not break mentally um mental meltdown it will be uh pretty much the point of no return for you and uh, those uh, enterprises that you find your positions severely weakened are going to crumble and probably you're going to lose positions there as well if you do not maintain your mental sharpness here so the six of wands into the second position just points that you unfortunately cannot hope for any major milestone and any major achievement um, in fact that card also severely reduces the chances of a helping hand but still because the five of pentacles is more stronger and this particular case still a chance is there uh, now how the week pretty much ends uh, for you um, such um, Aries I'm sorry it is a someone who warned you about what is going to happen coming and saying I told you so and as they say I told you so this isn't going to be an act of uh, I don't know I don't know exactly the English word an act of the day being happy that you are going through such a rough patch okay but uh, it will be so they make a point and then the true helping hand from their behalf comes about so at the end of the week as you are going through this rough period of time the person who least who you least expected to help you is going to come and is going to be a source of a um, like I said a helping hand that will help you go through and not just only go through but consolidate and st stabilize the positions that you are on a one step of losing a grip and hold off and uh, i can only speculate here but uh, by the traits of those cards you probably didn't listen to them on the first place it is because their thoughts and their idea sounds preposterous and ridiculous and that isn't because they don't know what they're talking about it is just they have a couple of uh, unusual traits uh, traits i'm sorry uh, one of those traits is that sometimes they speak in a fictional language and they are pretty much their thoughts doesn't make any sense at least not to you and uh, the second one is tied to the first to the first one they are pretty much an original thinkers and uh only they kind of like can comprehend whatever their thoughts are um, are expressing okay and uh, now through actions you also are going to comprehend about their thoughts so prepare yourself for a bit of a rough week okay but at the end at least we do have a happy ending it all comes to that are you willing to allow someone to help you or uh, or a not so uh, that being said there is uh, this was your a weekly general tarot reading hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it guys and uh, we may see each other next time until then bye